compensation goes up that much in that time period. So everyone's discretionary income is squeezed. By creating property tax relief, we help people who are looking at this paper equity they, they've created in their homes, and we create a lower cost of living for them. The Home Purchase Assistance Program in Washington only covers a first trust loan up to 417,000, but most home values far exceed that in DC, especially for families. We need to create a housing system in Washington that accommodates families, that accommodates seniors, that accommodates working class folks. Another great concern of folks is public safety. We've had 108 homicides in Washington as of today. The violent crime rate has been steady the past half decade, and we haven't seen great strides in improving that. I want to focus on employment as a way out of crime. Give people opportunities who've fallen off track. Give people opportunities who would otherwise fall victim to what is street life, what is a life without opportunity. Can we give people opportunity instead of jail sentences? That's what I'm proposing. When it comes to education, we see a school system that people have shaken confidence in. Raise your hand if you've read the reports out of Balloon last week. Oh, yeah. WAMU and NPR did a report that saw a school that had a 2015 graduation rate of 51%, a 2016 graduation rate of 57%, in 2017 reported 100% of their seniors had graduated. That raises a lot of eyebrows. Upon further review in this investigative report, we saw that 25% of students had 90 or more unexcused days of school. There was one student who had 150 days unexcused of school who was still passed. It's not right. It's not acceptable in Washington, and we need council members who will oversee that education is properly invested in. We've done a great job modernizing our schools from the outside, giving people a structure that they can be proud to call their school, but we haven't focused enough on the inside. I want to invest on guidance counselors and therapists in school who can help deal with the trauma that people are experiencing at home that really comes to bear and really has this uh, environment of truancy that's taken over a lot of our public high schools. I also want to focus on raising teacher pay. We have this incredible class of brilliant, dedicated people in town who can't afford to live here. We also want to create housing opportunity for public safety officials and teachers. Of the 33,000 people who work for the District of Columbia, only 15,000 actually live in Washington. That's a problem. Washington used to have a residency requirement in the 80s and 90s that is stripped away, that took away a lot of the people who are really integral in making this a great city. By creating uh, more opportunities for people to live here and making the city more affordable, we hope to bring these people back into Washington so that they're taking ownership of their own community. When we think about why these things matter, if I think it's that it's our community. The city matters not just because someone's my family member, but because we're part of a greater community. If a senior has to choose between paying rent on their fixed income and buying medication, that problem hurts all of us. If a young teen doesn't have a home he can go to because his parents have to work two, three jobs to get by, that's a problem that affects all of us. If we go out and we see the problems day by day on 14th Street, on U Street, on Martin Luther King, and we walk by and continue to live our lives without concern for what effect that has, we're doing everyone in this city a disservice, and it's incumbent upon all of us to get involved. My candidacy is about people who aren't taken care of every day, who aren't seen, who are all forgotten. My dad told me when I was young, don't work hard, work smart. And that's not an aphorism to be lazy, but rather to be as effective as possible with the resources you're given and make as much of a dramatic change as possible. So I ask everyone here, if you want to give your time, volunteer with us. Come out to doors. I hope we got everyone's information at the front. Come out, if you're interested in canvassing with us, raise your hand. 
Natalie, take notes. <laughs> uh, we want as many people as possible. We're going to show that this is a really community effort, that we have a lot of energy and force behind it. If you're able to donate, donate, and implore others to do the same. But most importantly, talk about us to your friends, your family, your community, and your coworkers. The work we're doing is important. The work we're doing is an uphill task. Being here tonight is an act of bravery, and I applaud you all for that. We're running against an incumbent, which isn't the easiest thing to do, and in fact is oft advised against. But I know we'll do it because we have so much strength, so much intelligence, and so much passion in this room. So I thank you all for coming tonight. I implore you all to take a sign, to sign up to take yard signs. If your parents have homes, if your friends have homes, get signs for them, and we're gonna make sure that our name recognition is the highest in this race, and we win on June 19th. So thank you all. Have a good night.